Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players. This is Andy Teixeira. Today I'm going to be covering some of the uh, news dropped in the last few days. I'm sorry I haven't been able to get to it. I've been... It's springtime here and allergies are exploding. So if I feel sound kind of congested, that's what it is. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, the Sith Triumphant Raid Rewards. So I'm going to kind of skim through this, but... Last day, communication, we were hit with one of the hottest topics in the community lately, changes to Sith Raid rewards. We are implementing the rewards on the Sith Raid first in our upcoming hotfix update, slated for next week. So it sounds like it might be next week because this was just posted yesterday or it could be during this week and they might have had a typo. So hopefully this week, but anyways. And we will be doing similar changes to the pit. They, AAT raids in the upcoming months. So right there, right off the bat, that's some good news. I didn't think they were going to do any raid uh, Sith Sith raid reward updates because it just came out. But because of how difficult it is, it does say that in here. It, how difficult it is, that's what's you know going to happen. Is they're going to up the rewards a bit, which is good. And I'll explain a little bit more as we go. But it also says the pit and the AAT raids are definitely getting updated as well. That's another exciting thing to to have happen is getting the other two raids updated. And we honestly, we, we needed it. We needed it. So in the upcoming months, we will probably definitely get uh, an increase of sh like Han Solo shards, maybe General Kenobi shards, but mostly... We'll be getting an increase of raid rewards like the credits, the guild currency, etc. So, yeah, the gear. So, yeah, so we waited until now to make the change because we looked at the data that shows how the first few runs of the raid needed to uh, net it out across many different segments of player base. Then we created a tuning that would work for guilds at various levels of factors in the new cadence of the Sith raid along with the other two raids. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, given the difficult of the raid, we will be increasing the rewards a bit. Skip down to the meat. So also they talked about some other things about communication. They are improving their communication. There's another page uh, that will, or there's a few other pages that talk about them improving their communication uh, through the forums and whatnot. So finally, we have a couple more intended announcements this week, in, including the Road Ahead blog, which is going through its final phases and approvals, and that I plan to release in the next couple of days. We are also working on setting up numerous Q&A videos with Game Changers as player lifecycle producer Eric mentioned in the community post that they will be asking questions or will ask qu questions asked by you guys and in, in the previous Q&A we will also do a follow-up live Q&A this Friday April 6 at 12 p.m. so I'm definitely gonna be paying attention to that and I'll probably go over it a little bit too uh, but we'll, we'll see if I am able to and so yeah so that is Carrie. And then they said, P.S. Today's in-game reward is going to be later. Um, with this reward yesterday was a thousand crystals. That's one of the biggest amount of crystals I've seen from this game. I've seen 500 here and there, 250. I, there was one other time I saw like a huge, huge reward. It was bigger than this one. And it was like, I think like 800 to 1500, maybe 2000 worth of almost each currency. At the time, of course. At that time, we didn't have the Guild Raid Rewards. So, but anyway, so going on, Sith Raid uh, changes. So they're just improving it for the overall game experience, especially given the time, effort, and, and coordination it takes the guilds to successful to be successful at them. With the Sith Raid, they've also endeavored to reintroduce lower tiers of the Sith Raid so there are more options for people of all, of all player types. So... And then they did this after monitoring all the guilds through the challenge of Sith Raid. We've uh, significantly revamped the rewards across all tiers. After mon monitoring early results and player feedback, we will do this similar pass on AAT and Pit. So here's the outline. I'm just going to kind of skip to the outline. Um, improving underlying quality and gear drops. Across all Sith Raid tiers, and especially beginning in Tier 4, 
The underlying co contents of the Sith Raid Mysterious Box have been revamped. Mysterious Boxes at Tier 4 and above now overwhelmingly focus on more difficult to obtain gear, salvage, and are more fo narrowly focused on the gear needs of the guild working towards completing the tier in question one to two times a week. Mystery boxes at tier four and above have removed all challenge gear. So from what my understanding is all the challenge gear from the challenges you do, not the ship challenges, but the regular challenges where you get all the gear that we have like thousands and thousands and thousands of. So if, if it's basically what they're referring to, they're removing all that challenge gear and other gear, gear likely to be highly stockpiled by experienced level 85 players. So yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, so if you have anything like gain, you know, you have like 10,000, you know, uh, salvage of this one piece of gear that no one ever uses. Here you go. You get to now, instead of getting it in these raid rewards, they're going to be aimed more towards that, you know, something else. A handful of extremely difficult challenge gear pieces, such as Mark III Cabantes, remain in the, ch the chance for fully crafted pieces. So, you know, the Carbontes, the, I, I'm assuming, you know, stun cuffs, stun guns, any of those will still have a chance to getting a full piece. I don't know if they'll still do salvage. It's not saying that they will, but the Carbontes, the, uh, they're like medical ones that you can get in the challenges. Those ones are still highly used. Uh, so we'll see if those ones still at least have some sort of, you know, increase. And of course, I'm sure they'll change some things here and there by the time they do release the update. When released, the next set of gear it will enter circulation at the first exclusive through the Tier 7 Heroic Mystery Box. So, that's that. Now, flattening a gear drop. All players within a guild will receive raid gear, mysterious box of this, boxes of the same quality regardless of their rank in the raid that's good uh, i guess it, I, I feel like they're going on all this equal everyone works so hard but they just you know get about the same amount of reward so hopefully they just don't do that too much because i know we have that from ter territory battles and territory wars where everyone gets the you know about the same amount which it does make sense because it's more of a group effort the raid is that way too but at the same time while working together as a group guild it's always nice to make sure you get more and more but i feel like they're still improving that and i think they're also still keeping a good chunk of that i'm just hoping it doesn't go straight 100 percent oh i i took uh i did like the most damage in the raid and everyone gets the same rewards i hope they don't go 100 percent to that but this, as from the sounds of it, it's just the mop, mysterious boxes so uh, the separate uniform chance varies at by tier at dropping a complete geared prototype at tier four and up a guaranteed amount varies by tier and salvage of difficult relevant gear to compensate for flattening the gear side of rewards uh, the curve of the guild currency and guild event token rewards have been made more steep see number three <clears throat> Although the value of all raid shipment currency drops have been increased for all tier uh, tiers and ranks. That's good. Um, increasing the and rescaling guild currency and guild event tokens. So in the Sith raid, we do have guild event tokens as well as the guild uh, guild currency. We have both. So and maybe from the sounds of it, it didn't it doesn't say, but maybe from the sounds of it, they might actually add guild uh, event tokens for. Um, the other raids. I, I feel like it'd be kind of nice to help speed up a little bit towards working on, <coughs> excuse me, um, working towards, you know, the, 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 oh man, what's this, the Wampa or the Hermit Yoda, but also the fact that a lot of people <coughs> lately have been turning it into the crystals that are neat or shards that are needed for characters like Gar Sax and the Imperial Super Commando. That's what I've been doing. But then there's also certain ships in there, as well as uh, gear. And I've been using it a lot on gear and the two Imperials. So, But all guild currency drops have been increased and curve steepen, as mentioned above, increases by uh, vary by rank, uh, tier and rank. But all players' rewards are, an average, are, are up an average of 20%. 
and the top one to five ranked reward or players rewards are significantly more than that. So you do, I'm glad they still at least have the fact that, you know, the top five or so get the most rewards and I'm glad they're doing that. Special attention has been paid to increasing the rewards for better fit as the difficulty of the Sith raids, tiers five, six, and the heroic of the population of guilds currently running those tiers and to reward guilds for moving up to and performing well in those challenging tiers. So it's just going to help push us, you know, to get better and better. And that's, that's good. That's good. Uh, players will receive guild event tokens beginning in tier three down from tier five. So it was originally starting at tier five, but now it's down to tier three when guild event tokens happen. <clears throat> Um, let's see. So, and then here's a few Q Q and a, um, so they're probably adding that in the next uh, few days. It doesn't really say, but I'm just going to skim through some of the other stuff or two. I've already did that. I've already done the character event cadence. I think that's just all that's, you know, going on so far, you know, server update, <laughs> It's always nice. Also, one thing I will say that's really been nice is we've been getting rewards, you know, for each of these days they've done something different and it's an update. Uh, either the daily login rewards, you know, uh, the character cadence. We always get some sort of a re uh, reward. Like the Thousand Crystals yesterday, the and we got tons of different credit amounts uh, throughout the last few days of last week. So... I'm excited that, you know, they're actually, you know, really helping players out. Even though I know they still need to make their money, but they're at least helping players out to speed up the process, especially since they keep adding more and more and more characters. And I'm sure uh, currency mounts and stuff like that will increase later on when they go to level 7 or level 90. They eventually, I hope this is like in two years, but gear 13, if they ever do that, um... And they, of course, add more and more characters. They're going to have at least another problem. They might have another 100 characters added. Or, like, maybe not 100, but maybe, like, 30 to 40 characters added by the end of the year. And then we got a few more ships added. So, they're increasing currency amounts. And that's always good. So, but, yeah, my, that's, you know, that's the uh, things I want to cover today on, uh, on the forums. The... The raid reward improvements, and again, they stated the pit and the AAT are going to be coming up in the next coming months. So they probably will do one raid next month and one raid the following month. I hope they do the A H A A T raid first, or the yeah the or the A A T raid. It's not the H A H is the heroic uh, tier, and you know maybe maybe improving it to the, the, what they'll probably do is if they do add a, a guild guild event tokens, they might have it only. Uh, to the older raids and the heroics only, which I'd be fine with. I would be totally down with that. So, but yeah, that's um, what I wanted to cover today. If there's anything more that comes out today, I will cover it. They're supposed to be, you know, looking into the um, uh, uh, the state of the galaxy. So, you know, stay tuned for that and I will cover it. When I get the chance, I'll probably be covering it tonight before I go to work. So, yeah, stay tuned. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the, the raid reward changes. And even though we didn't get the exact numbers, but when it actually happens, you will notice it. And I'll be glad to see the update as well. And you guys have a wonderful day.